Hi everyone. Uh, today we will be discussing about uh, how to make process model more efficient. Yeah. Hello. So for making the process model more efficient, we have to follow certain best practices the recommended by the APN. Like we should make the process model short lived so that it will not last for longer duration and instance will not be active for longer duration. First thing is that again, uh, suppose in a uh, in process model the, which we are going to design, the certain user is there need to perform multiple forms, build up multiple forms. Though and then all those forms need to be configured in multiple step forms, so that whenever the user click on the next, it the next form will open for him, and and once uh, uh, click on next the other form will open so and all that particular forms need to be called in single user input task inside the process model and suppose if there is any breakage i mean to say like breakage in a flow like once the user uh, complete uh, the certain flow it goes for the approval then approval flow need to be configured in the related action or the uh, uh, related action or the record action once that is a is, sorry it need to be configured in the related action and that related action we can show it in uh, call in the dashboard uh, from there user approval user will be having the option to start the process and complete fill the form for that or give the approval for that and if there is any node which is being done by the multiple user means I mean to say that that is being configured as a MNI, then all the variables which is inside that particular node is being used, we should configure is a hidden variable because the very hidden variable will not come into the process history. It will not be recorded. So once the user, certain user fill multiple forms, uh, multiple times the that form will be evaluated because that is an MNI. So that every time if we don't make it as hidden, every time those data will be captured in the process history and it will consume the memory. So we should uh, make sure that uh, the MNI variables are hidden. And for example, in uh, some of the process model which we have designed earlier or how for example, if there is a node which is getting a response from the API, then in another script task, we are transforming those data. And another, we are casting the data into the serity or the record type. All these three nodes can be performed in single expression rule by passing the uh, the parameters to the API directly into the expression rule, then we can m manipulate the data in the expression rule and transform into into CAT. That particular rule, expression rule, we can call it in the script task of the process model. So all these three nodes can be configured in one single node in the process model. That's how we can improve the performance of uh, memory efficiency of the process model. Thank you. Huh? Thank you so much for explaining.